All right, so question one, which of these is a prime number? Uh, the only one here is two, because uh, one has got one factor, this has got more than two factors, uh, seven and nine, 63 and one, for example. Um, this can be divisible by two, so it also has more than two factors. And this technically, I suppose, has no factors. So two is the only prime number of this. Rounding this to the nearest whole number, so that means we must look at this uh, five here. If it's five or more, it would round up. So you're looking at the first digit, so that's gonna round up to three. Next one, a player loses a point, so starts by minusing a point, gains a two, two points, so adds two points, loses three points, gains four. So which one of these? Well, I think it's this one here in D. List these from least to greatest. So the smallest number here is this negative 54. It's way back into the negatives. Then comes negative 11. So any positive number is going to be bigger than a negative number. Next is 7, then 12, then 18. Calculate the following. Well, negative 11, so if you want, you can sketch a number line here if you want, but not necessary. Negative 11, 11 plus minus 4, a plus minus 4 in a row like that is a minus 4. So negative 11, take away 4. So negative 11, go further back into the negative. So if you're not looking at your number line, here's negative 11. Go further back. One, two, three, four, and you end up at negative 15. Dividing, well, 121 divided by 11 is 11 from our times tables. Minus divided by a minus, that, that double negative makes it a positive, so I just leave it as positive 11. A minus minus here in a row becomes a plus, so 7 plus 10 is 17. Multiples and factors next, so the first five multiples of eight, so that's the eight times tables answers, eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight times five. List all the factors of 42, might be easiest to do this in pairs, think about two numbers, so one times 42, uh, two times 21, two divides in because it's an even number. Um, does three divide in? I think it does, because four plus two is six, and that's divisible by three, so that's a test for divisibility of three. So it does divide in, but I need to find out what. So uh, if you want, you can use your calculator to help for this one. Uh, three into four goes once, and then one over. So I think it's 14. Uh, four, does it divide in? Well, we can test. So four into four goes once, but it doesn't go evenly into the two then. So no, five doesn't divide e evenly because it doesn't end in a five or a zero. Six does, because I know my six times table, six times seven. And then once I've reach that point where I'm talking about one numbers that are already here, I can stop. And then I list from smallest to biggest, one, two, three, one, two, three, six is next, seven, uh, 14, 21, 42. Uh, all right, so a bit of a different type of question here. X and Y are two numbers marked on this number line. So here's a number line, here's zero, Sweet. Now it looks like this number line's going up in fives, because if that's 10, and that's zero, this must be five. 15, 20, and so on. This is minus five, minus 10, and so on, going backwards. So it's, uh, I know x is five, and I know y then would be negative 25, from where it is in the number line, and they want to calculate the value of x plus y. So in other words, five plus, minus 25 so that's x plus y because y is minus 25 and now it's like one of those questions in question five uh plus and minus together is a minus so it's actually five minus 25 so you can start at five take away 25 and you end up at 20. tricky one that order of operations so bed mass might need to review that if you're not sure about this uh Multiplication would come first in this one before any add addition and subtraction. And I'd write down li like this. So three times five is 15. Uh, then I would do, so we've got addition and subtraction. They have the same power. So I do whichever comes first from left to right. So seven plus five is 22, take away two then. And I write my final answer here. See the way I'm writing it um, underneath each other. So uh, I'm just writing that 
that's a, a nice way to lay out these order of operations questions. Next one, well, I've got division, multiplication, and addition. So uh, division and multiplication have to come first, and whichever comes left to right first, so this needs to be done first. So this one's first, 48 divided by 12 is 4. Then 4 times 2 next is 8. And then I add 8 and 7 finally. Which calculation gives the biggest answer? Uh, well, I can work all these out. Uh, that's going to give a minus. So that's going to be minus 24. No, that's small. That's going to give a plus. That's uh, plus 24. So that's quite big. This is going to be subtracting. That's not good. That's going to be minus 2. That's going to be adding. Uh, but it only gives plus 2. So B with an answer of 24. So you can work each of them out separately. Draw prime factorization tree for 100. So we start at 100 at the top. We think of two numbers that multiply to give 100. Maybe think of 10 times 10. And then we think of two numbers that multiply to give 10. 2 times 5. Both sides, 2 times 5. Do we need to go any further? Well, no, because uh, this is prime, 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 prime. Once we reach a prime number, we stop. So none of these can be split up into its factors anymore. And then we can write it. Uh, 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 in numerical order, so 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Or we can write it in index form, 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2. List as many multiples of 8 as you need to evaluate the lowest common multiples. So multiples 8, 16, 24, so times tables answers 32, 40. I'm going to stop now because I have a feeling about 40. 10, so these are the ones for 8, these are the ones for 10, 20. 30, 40, I'm going to stop, look, 40 is there in both, so the lowest common multiple is 40. List all the factors of 2754 using these lists. So I've got to list all the factors, so it's another factor-based question. So 27, you can use the method we had on the other page, uh, 1, 3, 9, 27, it only is 4, I think, 54 then, 1, 2 because it's an even number if you didn't get that one uh, 3 also goes in I think uh, 6 goes into this one as well does 5 uh, does 4 4 does and 5 does and 6 does uh, 9 does uh, 2 must have its uh, 3 must have its buddy so well how many times did 3 go in uh, 18 I think uh, 2 must have its buddy as well, 27 and 54. Okay, tricky one, that. All right, and the highest common factor then, well, I can see 27 is in both lists, so the HCF is 27. More order of operations here. All right, brackets within brackets. Well, i got to do this first. Uh, so plus minus here is a minus. So let's get the answer to this. 12, take away 3, is nine. I'm just I'm rewriting the rest. Okay, uh, I do this multiplication first. So nine times negative four. Well, nine times four is thirty-six. Nine times negative four must be negative thirty-six. There's only one negative there, and that's divided by two to be squared. Now two to be squared, possibly could have done that already because this exponent should be four. So I'm just going to change that to a four. Should have done it first, shouldn't I? After the brackets. But it's okay, uh, you get the same answer. Minus 36 divided by 4 is minus 9. And the last question. Wow, tricky one this. So evaluate the following using order of operations again. So uh, brackets first, then exponents. So brackets first. So I'll leave that exponent there. Ooh. Uh, What's in the brackets? Well, the square root of 4, so what number by itself gives 4? Well, we know 2 times 2 gives 4, so the answer must be 2. Plus, and the um, other exponent here, 3 squared is 9. So I haven't actually answered what's in the brackets, but I've simplified it, and now I'm going to answer the addition, because the exponents need to be dealt with first. Uh, 2 plus 9 is 11. Oh, plus 5 cubed. Okay. Next thing up, uh, so bed mass, brackets are done. Now exponents, that's an exponent, that's an exponent. Okay, so the cube root of 8. 
what number multiplied by itself three times gives eight. So something by something by something equals eight. That's what the cube root of eight, we're looking for this number. So I think two times two times two, in other words, two cubed is eight. So the cube root working opposite way around must be two. So two times 11, uh, five cubed. Well, that's five times five times five, five times five times five. And well, five times five is 25. I'm multiplying again by five, one, two, five. So perhaps uh, if you're stuck on that, you can use a calculator for that. A minus minus is a plus, so I'll put that in now. Okay, now the exponents are dealt with. Uh, multiplication next, 22 plus one, two, five plus two. So I just multiply these two. Now I can just add to finish 22 plus one, two, five is one. Uh, four, seven, any snooker friends, uh, plus two is one, four, nine, no room underneath, so I just put it here, and that is my answer. If you notice, I'm putting a box around the answers just to make it absolutely clear which bit is the answer. You can also just write answer equals one, four, nine. Something like that is a good way, or highlighting is a good way of showing it. Now, in the actual assessment, there's going to be a couple more questions they'll be unfamiliar blue level type questions so problem solving questions um, uh, for the exit and I'm, they'll be worth about 10 percent so there's examples of those in the uh, revision exercise which you can use to your heart's content um, if you have any questions on that do ask me and i'll try and help you if you finish correcting this get onto your revision um, you don't need to share your answers with me um, this won't be put on manage back, but um, the actual assessment will be. Okay, so best of luck.